In this video, we're going to take a more detailed look at the generator start-stop functionality within the Serbo GX. Within your system, when it is up and running, you touch the screen and go to the menu. From here, you select settings and scroll down until you reach the generator start-stop functionality. The initial part of the page basically gives you the generator state, whether it's stopped or running, if there are any errors, and the total runtime for the generator. If you want it to auto start using this functionality, you need to turn this selection on. We can then go to the settings to look at the conditions as to when the generator will start and stop. Firstly, if you start the generator, you can select a minimum runtime. So if it starts, you want it to run perhaps for 15 minutes as a minimum. You change it to 15 minutes, select the tick, and it is set. Within this, you can also set quiet hours. This is the time when you do not want the generator to start, if at all possible. The quiet hours in this particular scenario is set from nine o'clock in the evening till six o'clock in the morning. These times can be changed as before by selecting the icon and changing the time, and then tick afterwards. At the very top, we have conditions. This is when you want the generator to run. There are many conditions on which you can get the generator to start. Let's run through these one by one. Firstly, battery state of charge. This enables you to start the generator when the battery's state of charge reaches, say, 20%. It will then recharge the batteries up to another predetermined state of charge, perhaps 85%. The next one is battery current. Again, this may be used to start the generator if you have lots of high power devices turning on at a similar time, and you may wish to preserve the batteries and run from the generator. Battery voltage, very similar again. If the battery voltage drops because of high loads, you may wish to start the generator. The next one is AC load. You may decide that when the loads reach a certain power level, you wish to start the generator to support your activity, at the same time recharging the batteries. Inverter high temperature allows you to start the generator if the internal temperature of the inverter is getting too high. This is, could be in the summer when you're drawing very high loads from the inverter. It'd be very prudent to start the generator to preserve the inverter. Inverter overload. This allows you to start the generator in the event that you are drawing more power than the inverter is capable of delivering. Periodic run allows you to set a time when you're gonna run your generator if it has not started for a few days. This allows you to ensure that the generator will start in the event that it is really required but in any other conditions above. Most of these settings are a different way of achieving the same result, but are all designed to improve the efficiency of your system and to preserve the health of your batteries. Let's now show an example of how we set one of these up as they all follow the basic principle. You select battery state of charge, start when the battery state of charge is lower than, you select the number, set the number to the required percentage, in this case 20%. Once you're there, you select tick, that setting is now complete. You then set the start value during quiet hours. In this case, it would be lower than 20% to give you a better opportunity of not starting the generator during these hours. In this case, I'm going to set it to 15%, ensuring that I complete the tick afterwards. Once the generator is running because of a low state of charge, it will then need to stop at a higher level. Normally, we would select around 80% for this, that being the most efficient charge level. So we select 80% and once again ensure that we tick. The stop value during the quiet hours will be set lower than this value, say at around 60%, as we do not want the generator running any longer than necessary. Once you've made these settings at the very top, you then use battery state of charge to start stop. You make that selection to on. That is the selection complete. You can set all of the conditions to start and stop the generator, but certainly battery state of charge and generator load are the most popular. So that's how you set up the generator start-stop conditions within the Servo GX. If you have any questions about these settings, please do not hesitate to get in touch. If you're looking to purchase a GX Servo, please visit our store. A link is provided in the description.